Welcome to the Main J Show. It's your boy Main J, and this is another episode of the Main Chat. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, share, hit me up via email, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. You know what to do by now. Um, as y'all know, I'm a very busy person, so I can't get on every day and keep up with everything. But when y'all hit me up and ask for my perspective on something, I try to make time as close as when, you know, what happens to give you my perspective, the May J perspective. All right. So let's get started. Wendy Williams versus Method Man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Here's the deal. As many of y'all know, Wendy Williams has come out and started talking about her sexcapades and, you know, who she's had sex with in the industry and allegedly and all the other good stuff. Um, I'm like 92, 93% with Wendy um, on it. And the other 7%, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm against her. It might be more, but let's talk about it. Here's the thing. Your story is your story. Your testimony is your testimony. Your life, your life, your truth is your truth. Whether you decide to talk about it, not talk about it, talk about it when it happens, talk about it later, talk about it behind closed doors with specific people, or go public with it. Whatever you decide to do with your truth, it's your truth. Um, and that is what it is. Can't nobody take it away from you. And you know, I always tell people, if you don't want your business getting out there, don't do your business with people. Stay to yourself. Because as long as you do something with someone, they can always share it because they are involved, whether you like it or not. Now, some people take stuff to the grave. Some people don't. Some people blow it out of proportion, add to the story, and that's when you have to check some things. But, you know, the truth is this truth, and they can tell it whether or not you like it or not. And that's what she did. Um. Now, what I noticed is up until Wendy Williams got divorced, she's never really talked about who she's messed with in the industry. Now, you heard a lot of things about the miscarriages, you know, the um, abortions, a lot of stuff that she's going through, but you never really heard about who she slept with. And I think the reason why that might be is because, you know, her husband, her, her ex-husband was her manager or whatever you want to call it. He, he, he handled the ran things. And I, I believe that probably must have been one of the things. Listen, you can talk about the abortion. You can talk about, you know, the drugs. You can talk about all these different things, but you will not talk about who you slept with in the industry. Just, I guess, out of respect. That's what I'm taking it. And now that she's divorced, she's she's telling it all. So I just think out of respect to her husband, she probably was like that. So that's my only issue with it. I think the same way, you know, how Wendy Williams had respect for her husband not to talk about these things while I mean, she was married out of respect of, I think she should have kept that same respect for the people who she's messed with, like Method Man, who is now a married man. Um, now, once again, there's a difference between sleeping with a married man and then sleeping with someone who is now a married man. That's two different things. So I think like he's married, da, da, da. yeah, he's married now, but I guess when they allegedly did what they did, they, you know, neither one of them was married. So that's, that's the difference. And, um, you know, I do believe it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Um, and I believe that sometimes it's not um, what you say once again, but it's when you said it. I personally, if I was Wendy Williams, I probably would have said this stuff when I was back on the radio, back when it was hot, back when it was fresh, maybe back before, you know, you was married. It, it, this seemed like it would be a lot more cool, a lot more juicy for the TV. Yeah, it's juicy, your biopic came out and it, you, 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 you're you making it more, you know, um, entertaining or making it so more people will watch or look at it or try to find inter interviews or anytime he's on the radio about it. But in all honesty, I personally don't think, you know, this was a good time. I think this is one of the things that she probably should have took to the grave. Um, and, you know, of course, Method Man's wife took to social media to talk about, you know, how she Wendy's always either lying or she's always opening up her mouth or she's always talking slick or she's always just saying things that she should just keep to herself. And this is why I'm against Wendy probably coming out. I was reading, um, really watching the video. I'll put the video under the um, 
I put the link under this video in the comment section, but I was watching a video with Method Man um, that he had did an interview with somebody and he was saying, you know, I already know who told you this information. It was Wendy Williams and he went in on Wendy and pretty much what Wendy Williams did was she pretty much went on the radio and said, you know, how she doing announcements and how she was always being messy or, you know, just saying stuff that people want to know. And pretty much she had said that Method Man's wife at the time was in the hospital. They come to find out what Method Man was saying that his wife was dealing with chemo and different things like that and how they were trying to deal with it in private because, you know, it can be overwhelming and you know, painful and all the different things that you do psychologically to go through chemo and only everybody in, in, in the particular house or maybe immediate people knew about it. And once she made that announcement, everybody, the family knew about it, the neighbors knew about it. It, it, it just, it became overwhelming because they were trying to deal with this um, internally in the home without the whole world knowing about the chemo and the cancer and all that other stuff and, and Method Man went in. So for me, I think because Wendy Williams did that years ago, allegedly based off of what Method Man said, I didn't see no, I didn't hear anything or anything or see anything or any, no blogs about it. But I want to say since she did that, I think she should have kept the, the, the Method Man smash it. But you notice uh, the wife didn't deny it. She didn't deny it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I just think that, you know, the man's a married man now. When we understand you free and you can you, 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 you're not together. But if you didn't speak any if you didn't speak anything about your sex case while you're married, then think about the, the people that are married now. Because word in the street is, you know, first of all, what goes around comes around. There's always a thing called karma, right? There's always a thing called karma. And at the end of the day, we all have dirt about us, whether we like it or not. And Hopefully, even with me, there's some things I hope that people take to the grave with them. But if they don't, 100%, I can't be mad about it because I did it around them and with them or, you know what I'm saying, about them or whatever the case may be. And it, it can be exposed. But, you know, one of the things I met today that said about Wendy Williams, uh, as we all know, she had a drug problem. I mean, if you know anything about drugs and addiction, that sometimes people do things to get the drugs. So allegedly, you know, it was said that Wendy was, you know, sucking off people and doing different things to get the drugs. Now, once again, the same way how you expose people, you know, Wendy Williams, people can probably, there's probably some things that they can probably expose about you, about what you did to get the drugs and how you did it and who you was with and all this other stuff. So, you, you know, you reap what you sow. So you can be going down a slippery slope. So why are you in this all new freedom and you're divorced and you're single and you know, you, you out there living your truth and living your best life and telling more of your truth and more of your story, just be careful. Maybe use some discretion. Maybe reach out to the people who are, that you may slept with that you're going to talk about and say, you know, listen, I understand that you're married now and this is no offense to you, your wife, your husband, whoever the case may be, but I'm going to tell the truth about us. So just be prepared. You know, it's funny how she waited for her child to be grown and for her, for her to be divorced to tell her stuff, you know. And now the people that she's talking about got kids and are married. And, and it's just, that's the only part that I that I disagree with Wendy about. The rest of it is like, even though I disagree with her, it is her truth. You can tell it whether you tell it then or later, whenever you decide to. I just think that sometimes when people wait years later to tell the truth or to tell their story, um, a lot of times the people that you, you're, you're mentioning may really be in a different place and it can bring back memories or scars or open up things that people thought weren't there no more, some more stuff. So that's the only thing I take from it. You know, you haven't really heard anything from Method Man. Once again, the wife didn't deny it, so it, it must be true. Or else, you know, there'd be like a defamation lawsuit or something going on against Wendy and you don't see that neither and you know Wendy she keeps the receipts so you know if Wendy's gonna put something out about that I, I, I don't think it's a lie what y'all think she, did she do too much did she say too much did she cut the mouth shut or you know was she was she right by telling her truth or was it you know just Oh, did she tell the truth, even though it might have been her truth, 
to you know make more people watching or look or see what you, what was really about because I didn't watch the um that biopic. I didn't. I pretty much I already know what I need to know, so it wasn't for me. But that's pretty much what I got to say about that. Thank you all for tuning into the Main J Show. You know who it is. Please like, subscribe. Until the next time, peace.